<laughs> and we're rolling right into the laughter. The uh, pre stuff always is better. So I know you should hit record about it's called eight it's, minutes. It's ago, called pre podcast in the world, yeah. baby. So mm. that's what we just did. We did pre podcasting, and P-P-P. we should we did PPP. We were PPP and all over ourselves, guys. <laughs> so we've got a great guest today, Alan. We've got somebody in studio I with know. us. It's so much more fun that way. Oh, and she is pumped up. To did be you, here. did you have to wriggle by his loner truck to get down here? Was that what I saw there? Yeah, it's been two weeks. Two weeks. Dude, mm. I two actually, weeks. my all right, my truck has been in the shop for yeah. a month. Have you thought the damn about UAW finally store. switching to Ford? No. You, Although, really, you're just going to go down that hard. Always. Hey. Hey. Like a rock. <laughs> now, listen, I, I, I know. So I'm from the Detroit area. So I've grown up. I, I drive all kinds. Chevy, Ford, and every once in a while, Chrysler, but not very often. No. <laughs> Way back when. <laughs> yeah. So actually, I really only drive two, uh, Ford and uh, Chevy. And then even with that, uh, one's also a Cadillac. So, but I stay in the family. But uh, when it comes to foreign cars, that's a big no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just, you know. Well, I, 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 I drove know. up in my Toyota. There you go. No, that, that's not good. That's why I let you, made you park on the street. Down, <laughs> down two doors. I have a Cadillac. Okay. Thank you. All right. So we have <laughs> Tina McKenna Poland. As I found out right before mm-hmm. this, as we were PPPing, but I always called her Tina McKenna. It so. is fine. McKenna's okay. fine. All right. So Tina is with qualified applicants. Uh, she's been helping the trusted toolbox out, sourcing in a very hard space. And we'll get into all that. But before we do that, we got to get her background, Alan, because her background's pretty cool. Although she did come and likes the wrong football team. So she came from the Wisconsin area. Yeah. <laughs> We like people from Wisconsin. We've just Wisconsin. had a we've had a string of people from Green Bay and Oshkosh on the show. I know, well, yeah, and, and, and we like and them all. They are nice. They are nice, even if they cheer for the Packers. Ugh. No, hey, who won? Uh, the Lions. Yes, thank you. In where? <laughs> oh, Lambo. Uh, yeah, and and the only and who was there? Me. Yes, that's right. All right, so you guys are gracious. You're right. Um, <laughs> now, how I, gracious were you? I was not you were, at yeah, all. Right. No. So uh-uh. it's kind of funny was, that you're talking about Wisconsin. Oh, were you talking smack? I did talk a lot of smack. That's so not cool. My buddy gave me uh, a silver chain and a blue chain, and they kept calling me two chains in the way in, and so <laughs> I lived up to the billing. So the ladies all with around, a Z or S, like yeah, I go, I went to chain. Okay, <laughs> just want to yeah. make sure. Right, the Z. Uh, but the, so all the ladies up there wear the overalls with the Packers yes. stuff on, and they were a ton of a run. <laughs> and let's just say <laughs> oh. I, I, I had the entourage. That's what I thought. Although the guys that I was with all backed away from me and started filming it going, I think you're going to die. Mm-hmm. I think they're going to kill you. But no, it was cool. We had a lot of fun. Lambo, I just got done telling a guy this morning, uh, bucket list stuff, man. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you, it was so cool. It's very cool. Yeah. I mean, it's, you, if you ever get a chance to go, it was, I mean, we did this on a Thursday. We started tailgating at two for a night game. Mm, we hit That four, was late. Yeah. We hit four bars on the, oh no, we were drinking in the morning. <laughs> uh, we had four bars on the way in and it was just, uh, I got a picture with the priest. I mean, the whole thing was awesome. Mm-hmm. And despite all that, you start off by disparaging Wisconsin. So mm-hmm. yeah, let's get back to that. All right. Okay. So. Yeah. All right, but she had the sense enough, <laughs> like we all do from the north, to, to get out. Mm-hmm. So, cheers to that. Yep. So, so th- what I want to get into is, uh, Tina, what was your first job out of college, and what were you doing? Well, I had my cur- well, not current job. I did not have to find a job after college. I got a job that I stayed into after college, during college. You know, you're, you're so, really you're mass really communications. Teasing. Oh, there we go. Thank God. She was really teasing it out. TV so show, TV station. All right. So what were you doing? Um, everything, production, operations, op- uh, what was I in the in the master control? Did helped learned editing. I was not good at it. So is that is this a field you wanted to be in? That was like your that was your mm-hmm. love. You wanted to be in the TV world. I wanted to be in. I always knew marketing anyway in the entertainment business, and then so mass communications was the easiest degree. <laughs> <laughs> probably to get um to get anything but i didn't want to be production there's a gold nugget for you <laughs> make sure you find the easiest degree to get out of school as quick as you can yes uh, i wish somebody would have told me one of them <laughs> all right so yes. you got mass communication but you said you wanted to be in that media but i wanted it yes in marketing but in entertainment somehow right so production was they that was the easiest part of that segment of that you know degree but i did not like to be in the studio in the cold studio, I wanted to learn everything else. Um, operations was cool because you were in 
everything from news, promos, you helped with marketing everywhere. So while I was learning that as an intern in college or yes, during college, um, I said, what can I do to make more money though? I saw all these Lexuses and these people going to lunches and drive. I went, oh, sales. Oh, that's what they do. They're out all day and they're driving nicer cars. But I said, is that really that fulfilling? Uh, so uh, nobody gave me a chance though what? to do sales. I don't know. Um, I I felt I could speak to people. I had fun with people. I was always doing, you know, bartended my way through college, waited tables, all that good stuff. But my general manager who I was there forever said, you know, you don't really have experience. Like I've been in every department in this station since what, for eight years, I think at that point. And then the, uh, back in the day, do you remember the new world Fox bought everything? And I don't know if you paid attention yeah. back in this late, you know, early nineties. And I said, um, he, the guy that said no to me got fired. <laughs> so I said, well, there you go. But I got, I ended up taking a sales job. Um, for radio. Were you the first lady salesperson there? Or uh, exactly. It? No, I was not. So no, there were the plenty of sales. He, he, yeah, I don't know why or what, but um, I just felt, you know, I had a different, I wanted to be out more. I yeah. wanted to make a difference. And I felt in a station, I'm confined. I do it. You know, I can't do anything. So oh, you wanted the Lexus. I love that. Correct. Let's, let's, I wanted the Lexus. This is this is so against the Simon Sinek. Why? <laughs> I know, right? right? I want that damn Lexus, man. I want some spinners on my wheels. I want the cat out of the back early. The lunches. Yeah. I think I wanted the fun lunches. She, is tries, what I she tries to backpedal and, you know, I want to change the world. I want to serve others, make humanity a better, you know. No, no. I want the Lexus. There's a golden nugget. I mean, when you're struggling and, you know, paying your way through school and you're doing all that, you're like, okay, I'm a little tired. So, you know, you want a Lexus. There we go. All right. Did you get any formal training in sales or did they just say, no. go out there and make it happen? No, no training. Cold call city. Oh, yes. Yeah. I think I still have blisters from cold calling. And, and Back in the day, you know, you had to punch that phone. Yeah. And how long before you're like, mm, maybe I sh maybe I didn't like this sales idea? Um, I Well, I mean, it got me here. Okay. So I was probably doing how many years was I? Probably 12. Probably about 12. But it, what I enjoyed most was working with the small business owner. So um, helping solve their problems uh, in terms of what marketing could do, you know. Um, but I only had a small nugget, right? So I only could sell my station. So you could only sell your station in cold call city, mm -hmm. going out there, mm -hmm. pitching people on how why TV and your TV was the best station out mm -hmm. there. Because back in there, there was no digital, okay? It was just the on-air spots. No website to sell you, you know, no WSBTV.com, you know, anything like that. It was literally the air. That's it. Gosh, so. that's got to be hard to do, man. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I think about the skills that she built in terms of being able to talk to anybody about mm -hmm. anything to get them to go, uh, maybe I'll do something on air. What are we talking about? And so oh. what was the minimum mm -hmm. investment? Oh, God. Well, I mean, the last job I had was here at WSB. Yeah. So, I mean, it's still the most you guys are here so you know those one month proposals are not cheap nope no so i mean it's i mean it's two thousand dollars a 30 second spot in the mornings you know right so i mean back in my day i, I mean if i did got a hundred thousand dollar a year deal that was high wow that was 90s yeah. early 2000s yeah i mean that's big bucks man i mean yeah. You know, when you think about advertising, you're, you're thinking about throwing it at the TV. It's a big number when you see mm -hmm. that out there. Yeah, it's a little easier today with all the different stations and you can really kind mm -hmm. of, you can really dive deep. When I had my store, we actually did some TV spots, but it was like, <laughs> and it was Comcast Dave, my buddy, who we need to get on the show. And he's like, okay, I've, I've got this plan for you. He goes, it's these shows nobody really watches, but those that do are 100% your target. <laughs> target <deck. demo>. yeah. <laughs> Gee, I've never said that before. <laughs> oh, she knows but that. He, wow. he snuck my commercial in a duck game, though. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. That was the See, that's what you. That yeah. was what I like to do. If you earn it, you know, we, we do try to make it happen for you. That's cool. Yeah. yeah I was sitting I there mean, watching, you know, Pac-12 after dark and all mm -hmm. of a sudden, hey, there's my commercial. Nice. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. That was worth that was worth all hundred thousand. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. All right. So you yeah, you so so you were good at it. You liked it. I think but... I was good at it. I don't know. No, but uh, yeah. I mean, I feel I was okay. Yeah. But um I 
the the I guess that what would you say the crossroads or now how I'm here was uh two two thousand four right it was two thousand four, and I was working for WSB TV, and I went to a sales conference in Orlando, and I see my one of my favorite former clients in Orlando when I lived there and worked there for four years. And he walks up to me. Oh, I didn't know you were here. He was a speaker. He's a car dealer. Really smart, savvy guy. He was probably two years younger than me. Um, been in the car business for what, 18 years at that point. Very savvy, smart. He started his own marketing agency. And he walks over and he goes, I need somebody to run my agency. You want want it? Just just like that. Oh my God. And I went, How many what? times have we had these stories, man, where people, <laughs> you know, you're like, hey, how come you got in this business? Well, this person told me, hey, give it a shot. And I did this. Hey, I hey, I got invited in, and I and I took the journey. You know, I opened I the door opened mm-hmm. and I went through it. So you had the door open. How many times I, did that happen to you? Door open. Zero. Yeah, me too. Well, I maybe I'm maybe I'm not very <laughs> maybe I'm not very good at opening the door. Well, <laughs> hey, if you're listening to this podcast, if you want to open a door, <laughs> um, I may make go it through, really obvious, know. really yeah. obvious. But it's, it's got to be. Door, I'm yeah. talking that door's gonna be wide. Yeah, it's, it's gonna kind of have to have a suction <laughs> yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. Instead yeah. of saying, you know what, I've never been in this business before. I'm just gonna start a handyman business. Yeah, I think I got this. Yeah, that's what okay. I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Well, all right. See? So he did that, and so you're down in Orlando, and you're like, okay. Well, it was funny because he. I will never forget it because it did change. I was unhappy. I was bored. I had my son at the time was two years, I think at the time. And I went, I can't, I was getting angry because I couldn't, it was the same thing every day. Groundhog day. I felt I was smarter than <laughs> some of my bosses at the time. Um, hmm. But I always wanted to run a GM, I, be a GM. I didn't tie that in there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, the and the I GM, wanted to run a station. Cause the GM had the SUV Lexus. <laughs> uh-huh. Or the sports car Lexus. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Some of them did. Yeah. Um, but he, so Dave, he, I see him like, Oh my God. And he, and he says this to me, but when he's walking, he's in the conversation where there's, it was like diamond shape, you know, he's in front of me. My boss at the time was on my left. And then the, his boss was over there. And when Dave just said that they just went, it was like the party in the red sea. They were like, bye. Oh yeah. Right in front of my bosses who he was spending money with in that company. A lot of money. Wow. So. And it, they just go, well, honest. well, Tina's out of here. Cause they, if Dave asks people follow He's oh, one right. of those guys. Okay. So you did it. So I did it. I ran, I said to the husband I said, oh, okay. Cause at the time it was the best time to do this. Jump from a very highly successful station it was 2008. Right. Mm. Um, and we've, was it eight we've been four? there. No, it was eight. It was 08. Wow. So that I, was I not the best time. I kind of blacked out for a couple of years. <laughs> yeah. 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 Alan, 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 he's starting to twitch already, everybody. <laughs> we, we're going to have to get him back. Alan, he's he's glitching. He can't even talk anymore. There's like, my no, therapist. Not 2000. Phone number. Not 2000. I'm not sorry. 2008. I didn't not 2008. Mean to bring that up. I assume, I assume. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. <laughs> okay. Back okay. To, back, so you back. said, hey, I'm going to jump because I got this. Uh, Yeah, because, well, he offered me a nice chunk of change so i didn't leave just blindly right um and it was a good offer and i said i i like let's do this because i wanted to help him you know atlanta let's build up atlanta he started orlando so i went back and forth and at that time i mean that remember oh eight right sorry sorry no, Alan. i really don't uh, <laughs> you blacked out oh there it goes right again now. oh no no Al- Alan? yeah Alan, it's okay Alan. it's okay you it's can come back to it's right now. even you, better now you can turn the lights back on Alan. It's all right. It's 23 now. We've, we've made it. The we've horror. Made it. The horror. The horror. The horror. Okay. Sounded like screaming. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, yeah. And I said to the husband, I said, I, I really got to go for it. And he's like, yeah, why not? Because Dave's good to you. Ben, good to you, you know, and um, just he needs somebody to run it. So let's see what we can do. And then maybe possibly move back to Orlando or Florida. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I was again the year that shall not be named. Mm. Um, we couldn't, you know, well, we were going to lose money on the house. Time. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we said, well, we're stuck. So I worked with them for a year. You know, we saw a different eye to eye eventually, um, but we did very well. Like, I, I'm very proud of the clients we brought in in a very bad time. Um, and then you're like, okay, now what? To the, uh, we were going to part ways. 
I started looking for going back to work. <laughs> no, I don't want to work to for Groundhog anybody Day. else. Yeah. Don't make me go. I don't want to do it. Because you had a taste of freedom, right? Correct. Yeah. And uh and I'm not good at keeping my mouth closed when I'm not believing in something. Okay. <clears throat> so um probably best that I'm my own boss. Yeah. So but I so the, the, the crossroads and I was trying to find digital sales to again that year was hot and heavy selling online. And um, uh, one of the clients that we brought in was based here. He was a car dealer. And he said, you can't leave. Cause I, I, you bought, I, you were selling me. Are you on me? I want to work for, with you. You can do this on your own. Um, I'll stay with you. If he's cool with that. I go to do what on my own? He goes this, you can do this on your own, run in your own marketing strategy, consulting company, whatever it was. Right. I'm like, what is this? He goes, I got you. Let's go. You can do this. You've been doing it. I went, oh, okay. So he signed on with me. How many people have done that for you, Chris? Wait, wait a minute. Let me think. Uh, yeah, me too. Okay. All right, go yeah. ahead. And I will say his name publicly because we are still, even though he hired me, then fired me like four or five months later. No, no kidding. Then how many years later hired me again and then fired me again. But he is still one of my favorite guys. He's Bill Riley. He has a car dealership in Signature in uh, St. Joseph, Michigan. Oh, my gosh. There you go. See all how right. it comes around? It does come all the way around. How about that? And so you're working with him. But you, so you had to go figure out how to run your own business. That means I better Correct. go buy a laptop. I got to get an LLC. Yep. Yep. I got to figure out incorporate. Oh, yeah. All. Yes. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. More checks. Did all mm -hmm. that. And you said, OK, so you, you came out with one client. This no, no, this sounds a little bit more like <laughs> right, the right. Jerry Maguire story. Like, That's exactly okay, right. Okay, I've got a business. How many clients do you got? Are you diversified? You got a big client base? Um, I have I have one. Okay. So so is that technically awesome. a business when you have one client? Yes, it is, my friends. It is. Because having one client sure as shit's better than having zero. Because I True can tell you about that one. It at least helped pay the mortgage. And some of it anyway. Yeah. So all right. So you off you started. You had one client, but he fired you four months later. Yeah, I was trying to because we we just met up again like, Jeremy like Meyer, two months ago. Came and, yeah. yeah, and I we I said you remember fire you know firing me? He goes, of course. And he you know he was the nicest guy, of course, to fire me. But, um, but he Did gave me a job. Now this is coming back to me. He ga he gave me a referral at the same time. Like, okay, I'm firing you, but I like you and I care about you. So. I know this other guy, and he needs like a salesperson. <laughs> Do you want to work for him? Did he really say the word he I'm did. firing you? He didn't say um, I'm oh, going to go in a different no. direction. He said I have to, yeah. I have to go in a I different don't even direction. Remember how he said it. I don't, you know, I don't know. Explain. It's not because I did a 30 me. day out, so there was no tight, right? Yeah. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, but he gave you a referral, so you pick up. Yeah. So part. I, so I, I, the guy, I said, okay, well, I need some money. I'm starting out here, so I'm good at new business sales. So I kind of just picked up freelance work for a little bit. So you went, you, you, you I fell did. back on your cold calls. I sales, went back sales. on my cold call. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so were you a one man band? Well, I mean, a one woman band. Sorry, everybody. It's okay. No, no offense. I, well, I knew you wouldn't be offended. But I didn't want podcast <laughs> land to be. I don't want to cancel the podcast. Don't be canceled on this. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> We've been canceled a long time, Chris. <laughs> Probably. We, yeah. We, we have another one coming out. We'll tell you about that one later. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> oh, great. Hey, you know, if you're not making I waves, I really appreciate you keeping me in the loop on this. If, you're, if yeah. you're not making waves, people know you're there, man. That's you know true. what I'm saying? All right. That's hey, right. That's right. All right. So, did you went to one client was it just you uh helping all yes. these clients or did you start to pick up and start to build a business yes it was a combination so i was i i did have to go out and go oh hey i could be a good new business person for you so there was a couple of people that did that i worked with to do that but then i started getting oh i got a referral from this person i got a referral from this person so that's how i for you know whether it was marketing strategy or just media buying um you know, the traditional side of things. So I, I was able to have a nice medley of people and income coming in before I was. So let's talk about that experience you have mm -hmm. so we can get mm -hmm. the listeners yep. to understand what you did for who and, and how you did it. So you did, you did marketing strategy, mm -hmm. holistic marketing strategy, mm -hmm. not just digital. Correct. And then you'd also help them with media buys. Mm -hmm. Who would benefit from that kind of a service? And, and, you know, when you worked with these people, who, who would look for these kind of folks and what would they be looking for? Well, people like you, right? So small business 
people. Was that, I tried to be really veiled. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. Well, you're a big, big, big. Enough about me. Business. Let's talk about me. That's that's what Chris <laughs> is thinking the whole time. Yeah. No, I was thinking I was gonna. I was sharing with everybody because well, this is important. You don't know when to use people like this, and you know why does it make sense? You're like, I can figure this out myself. That's yeah. true. Yes. A little defensive, so, Chris. <laughs> he did. But he, but he, you know, reeled it back in. So yeah. he's good. Thank you. He's good. Yeah. <laughs> Not too bad. I mean, he's how many beers in? Oh, wait. Just am I one. not supposed to say that? You can. No, no. <laughs> no, but he's got, a, he's, he's he's got, got his got beers lined up like their planes coming into Hartsfield. It's, right? it's, it's, hey, uh, hey. Uh, fact, <laughs> speaking of landing traffic plane, control, boy, I'm uh, almost done with one. Oh, uh, okay. So to continue that answer, what it, it's, I think what the, the, you know, you're solving a problem, right? Just like anything. So you're solving a problem for homeowners. They got a problem. Call you. Um, Alan has, Thank you know, you it, we're we're all solving problems for people. <laughs> Good, nice. Yeah, Alan, solve your bike problem. Wait, sorry. More yeah. beer. Oops, so. All right. So, but so, but but my biggest thing was if you you can't you should not be doing it yourself. Um, marketing, you can, but there's you, you shouldn't. A business owner needs to work on their business. Period. So operations, building their team all that good stuff. But for marketing, just that side of it, hire somebody to do it. And I know you guys do it well. But it's so, so scary to hire somebody, well, especially the first time, because everybody's mm -hmm. talking a big game and you don't, I mean, true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, and there's a lot of bullshit going on out there, right? Yes, especially, there is. You got a lot of, you got a lot of women coming up to you, knocking on doors, cold calling you saying, Hey, go on my radio. <laughs> so like, should you hire about. the marketer with the Lexus or the one with the Toyota? Uh, let's see. What did I have then? I have to think about that. Toyota. Oh, okay. You I had it. a Toyota back then, yes. <laughs> um, but then I had the worst Toyota. That's another side by side. What is the worst? Toyota? Um, oh, I had I had the worst Camry in the world. It was a lemon. It was a really bad lemon. They it broke down in the Coles parking lot the day before my son was going to start a new school. Uh, oh, that on a Sunday. Oh, mm, oh. That's fun. Oh, finding a tow tow to to truck driver and yeah, rental car, all that oh. fun stuff. Anyway, sidebar. All right. So, yeah. So what are we looking for? When do you know somebody knows what the hell they're talking about? And mm -hmm. what what should we be asking? In other words, that was a really good question. Well, Let's dive into that a little deeper. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Probably. Well, always refer. Yes, it was a good question. Yes, it was oh, a good question. Oh, he did. Sorry. Do I need to say it out loud yeah. and have it marked off? Yes. Alan, thank you for the question. That's a very good question. Thank well, that sucks. All right. All right, you can continue. cut that in the edit room. No, yeah. no, no, no. He he gets one. All right, oh, he gets so, one per. Okay. Yeah, we no. Well, we one go a back month. And forth. No, we uh, we we track who has the most at the end. Oh, okay. Right now, <laughs> there's a prize. And right, that, Alexis right, or right. Toyota. <laughs> okay, sorry. Is that that was probably a, off air that nobody even knows. A Chevy about, loner. So. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Ouch, I love Chevy it. loner. All right. Can you let her answer the question? So. Uh, maybe one of the que one, one thing is you just simply ask well referrals is always good but but is what are the results that you have gotten now granted it could be apples to apples and oranges to apples right so you just don't know uh so ask for ref I, ask for well, um what are clients that are in a similar space correct yeah okay. yeah and hmm. what the results are and again it's it's it can be apples to oranges it, it can but I also say, you know, what do you do if you, you know, are there guarantees? Okay. Well, no, because marketing is marketing. Um, but it really is just your gut goes a long way. But if they feel, uh, you know, you come in and saying, you can't, let me back it up. I I remember those days doing proposals and they would just run and take them. That's really hard because you want to show what you can do, your strategy. Here's some past ideas. So now it's coming in like, okay, well, this is what I can do. I would always undersell it. I didn't like to be the hard sell, right? So I just said, okay, I saw this. Um, I would, I and I still do this to this day. I mean, in what I do now, <laughs> but it's it's really getting into what you're doing um, as a business owner. So your problems. I want to know exactly what keeps you up at night. Um, and let's go down it. Well, okay, no, keep it clean. That, does that have anything clean, to kids. do with business? Keep it clean. <laughs> keep it clean. I said. Actually, I just got done saying. I woke up last night at two and at four, and I had. Two things I had to write down on my uh on my nightstand. Yeah, uh, and it was not because I was uh, old. That's th that is a gold nugget. I'm going to give you that. That one. is a gold Thank nugget. Thank you. Write it down. You should write it down because as soon as you write it down, you can forget it. Right. Yeah. 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 That's exactly what I did. So uh, gold nugget number one. We're coming into the end of the year, and I'm thinking about the strategic planning for next year. You know what I'm going to do. So 
Uh, it reminded mm-hmm. me that I got to sign up for the home shows again. We're going to go back out and do those. So are you there saying you, you do your best strategic planning while you're unconscious? Uh, or drunk. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. So, True story. Right. That's, so that's why we do the podcast like this, Alec. <laughs> so I would ask that. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> what, so how do you do your best thing? How do you do your best thing? Is, is it thing? drunk or asleep? <laughs> So see now there there's a gold nugget. That's yeah, the question people should ask. Is it your Isn't best classic thinking? decision tree? Yeah, drunk or sleeping? <laughs> drunk or sleeping? I go yeah. and but, back and why not? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's an endless <laughs> loop, by the way. Drunk sleeping. Drunk endless sleep. loop. <laughs> uh, it is an endless loop right now. <laughs> so I would ask that. So if you said to me, and I want to know because if there's things that I can help you with, if marketing could help you, then let's talk about it. So I don't, do, I don't go into what I can do. I go, I go, let's talk about that problem. And so then, would you say a retainer up. situation or a percentage of buy is a better way? Uh, well, I did retainers, yeah. um, media, some clients were used to doing the retainer or the percentage. So that's old school. I'm not, a, I was not a full service agency. So, which doesn't include production and things like that. So I go, okay, based on your spend, if I'm, if I am doing all of your marketing, you're out of like, I would call myself a CMO or outside CMO. So if I'm your person, then we do all the strategy. Right. So, but I need to know what your Major issues are. Is, yes. Okay, you don't want to know all so, my So, well, again, but, let's right. keep it, business. keep it clean oh. business. <laughs> There's, it's a long, it's a long but story. It's you don't have that kind of time. Speaking of retainer, uh, yeah. I see the therapist tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Chris, let me let me cancel a couple appointments after. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. This one's going to knock. Yeah, you're a lot of work. It's what I've heard. Quote. Really, you're a lot of work. Not for my therapist. Uh, oh. No, no. She <laughs> she's <laughs> <going to. laughs> she started charging that, you double. I, Is she yeah. not taking your calls now too? Yeah, that, well, yeah. that did happen. But uh, <laughs> I think that quote came from upstairs. <laughs> no, it didn't. No. Actually, it came from one of my friends <laughs> on the Lambo trip. You're a lot of work. <laughs> mm. Wow. And we better get you out of here now before you die. Two chains. Yeah. Two chains. Yeah. Z. Z. All right. So, so you, I probably didn't answer your question. I feel like it didn't. No, anything I think it, good, it, but I think you, you did, you know, ask for referrals. What are your results? But what are your sure results? Which, yeah. The results, I think that's, but the it's thing hard because miss. you know, we're all meeting vendors, right? So I think it's you, if they're invested in your business already, they should come in armed already knowing a lot about you. Some didn't ever, never cared. I had one vendor that would come see with the client. When I had a client, they would spell the name wrong. Oh, in the email. Uh, and I go, you got to fix that. You're already fired. I'm already firing you. I'm All not right. even going to consider you if you didn't take the time. So those are the things you want. And I feel I'm I'm an agent. I am an agent. So I protect you. And I always still feel I was good at that. Um, and ask those, you know, and I always gave an out. If I'm not giving, give me 90 days. If I'm not even seeing, if you're not feeling this or a lift or whatever it is, then then let's go. So you, you, bet, you bet on yourself. So even with your contracts, you, the most mm-hmm. you ever did was a 90 day. I started with not give me 90 yeah. if we did a six or 12 month agreement, but give me 90. And if you still don't even feel that if that day, what, 61 and say, Ugh, you know, uh, because it takes a little bit. But if you don't see me working hard for you, Jerry McGuire, like if you don't see me doing that and trying showing you the money um, and I'm working like I'm in it with you. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Then, then no. That's what your marketing person should be doing. All right. So as you grew your business, you mm-hmm. pretty much stayed solopreneur, but you'd bring people in to work with you a little bit. Uh, yeah, here partners. Yeah. yeah. So I don't, com- uh, I don't pretend I know it all. So uh, strategy, big picture, um, putting the medium, mediums together, uh, and as obviously the <laughs> the years progressed, it was a lot more. <laughs> Where are we going? And own something. Uh, don't be spreading too thin. Those were my little nuggets. Um, just try to own something if you're doing, if we're talking marketing, right? Small so you, you had your business, you were doing mm-hmm. the marketing thing. You did it for how many years or you're still kind of, well, I still it. have a couple marketing clients that yeah. since I started, yeah. so w- one still is with me. So he's, um, like I, I, I pay him though. Wait. <laughs> Is that what? not how it works? Uh, no. Well, funny you should say that. Uh, as, as hey, Chris, guy, maybe you should hire him. I know. Hey, what, wait, wait a minute. How come? Because you know, I work with her. How come she's not paying me? I know. Because right? I, I feel like right now I'm running the largest nonprofit in Atlanta. Mm. <laughs> you are. Yeah. Oh, boy. But yeah, so I think it's smart um, just to, I always felt I didn't want people tied down, right? So, um, but I want them to feel I am working hard for them. And I try to do that no matter what I was doing. 
So give us an example of one of your best client stories, but where you got the results, you're like, man, it's even exceeded my expectation. And I really nailed it. I think mm, it could be a couple. Well, I think early on though, that was cool, which the client, they spelled the name wrong. They sold the guests out their infinite energy. Okay. Yeah. And they sold really two guys started it. Their, their story is just cool. They, they designed the logo on the napkin in a bar. It was a cool partnership. Um, and they sold gas therms, right? Therms. And, uh, my favorite little thing was spending, literally finding an artist. I said, you need a, you know, how are you going to dif- differentiate yourself in gas? Right. Gas South, like you were now in Georgia right here. Gas South, uh, see, Georgia, Georgia natural, natural gas. gas. Okay. That's, right. That's they're all in the same, like they're selling the same thing. Right. Come at it. Like there's no difference except there's a bear in one, then there's a little flame in the other. And then there, you know, so we, I said, uh, you gotta have a gimmick. Is there a gimmick? Let's do a little cool person. I found a, an artist out of Brazil, 650 bucks. And he drew a little Thurman, 650 bucks Thurman. And we built that up and they, they took off. We did it. And we did outdoor only. We only bought outdoor and online. That's all we did. Uh, okay, so you, you're talking lingo. So that's we got to explain it to everybody. Thurman. So Thurman. Thurman Thurman. Yeah. Uh, you, you were buying billboards. But we used him as the brand, you yeah. know, like a little animated little figure. And then they turn it in. We did 3D and the guys, the so smart guys that are still there working for Gas South now, but because they sold to them. Um, but just that one little idea, like to help bring a brand to life. And so, so as you, but now it's, you took that brand and then you started to promote it. And that's what I wanted to talk yeah. about because that's where you, that's where people can look for help. So you said, hey, oh, let's yeah. go billboards. That's going to be the best way yeah. to get your name out there, get the recognition. So people will call you to mm-hmm. realize, because a lot of people, that's the other thing in gas. You don't realize uh, in a lot of uh, places in the, um, in the U S area where we're, where we have natural gas, you don't realize you can go anywhere you want. Correct. So you think it's always got to be one. That was the thing I learned. Cause right when I moved here from Florida, you didn't do that in Florida. So the whole thing makes no sense to me. I mean, what buying gas for therms? You, you got one pipe that comes to your house. Correct. Right. Well, that's what I mean. Right. So how are, and all these companies are selling the same. They're sitting in, it's like master controller, a Vegas board of odds. Oh, no, There's literally Chris's like, there you go. Language, exactly. See how man. I did that? <laughs> Look at him. So he's perked up now. <laughs> totally. He's not that's sleeping it. now. Um, oh, God. <laughs> See, I was confused before when she said outdoor, but I didn't billboards. <laughs> now she's talking oh, Vegas sorry. odds. Billboards. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. He's but the numbers the parlay and then Chris is totally oh, oh parlay. Oh. Yeah, and we're in the middle of football season not to do this, but oh, oh, oh. big daddy's got some action going right now. Really? Got a weekend coming up? No, we so uh it's gonna be it's gonna be in the NFL football, uh the playoffs. We've already booked that one for January. Your Hello. Vegas trip. That's right. Are we invited? Apparently not. Well, we'll we'll see how the rest of this podcast goes, and we'll decide. And everybody, stay tuned. We'll I see. I can't even get. I can't even get a round of golf on this country club. That right. Is he gets. Up. He drives. He drives right through the go- entire country club. Goes right to my house and goes. Am I ever going to play it? I'm like, yeah. Hopefully, one day you get on with a, maybe a charity event or something. I'm like, Good luck. Well, don't bring me though. Okay. Because the guy, the the same, uh, bring it back to Bill Riley. I can say, look him up. Um, he, we, the second time he hired me. Before he fired me, we went out to Vegas for the NADA conference. And he will tell this story proudly. Just call him up. That I <laughs> I sat at the craps table. A guy, the guys at Bachelor Party were letting me throw the dice. They all lost after like half an hour. Oh, you were oh, the ex. You were all I was table He killer. loves that story. And he kept giving me money to gamble. My client. He goes, here, pay. Here's another. <laughs> Keep going. Keep trying. Hey, no, it's coming, uh, back. It's coming it. back. I was doing well. I was doing you well. So they kept you can't get, making statistically me roll lose it. that many rolls in a row. You, you can't. Well, you can't if you're Chris. <laughs> you, uh, you know what? Um, so the Las Vegas trip, I think I've said this before. Just for the record, I did not, not get kicked out of the Mirage. Well, that's not a fun story. So what did you get kicked out? Yeah, where, I just, where I, did you kick? I, I got kicked out of one table. <laughs> <laughs> but he did escort me out of the entire Mirage. Oh, and that was for nice. your language. It was all language. Yeah. Wow. I wasn't even threatening anybody. I was just mad because I couldn't statistically lose that many hands in a row. And I literally won that lost that many hands in a row. It was that. Number so you two. were blaming the house. 
I was blaming everybody. You were? It was not my fault. I was. It wasn't. I was. Okay. I was. I was actually playing the victim. Card. Was I there? <laughs> I may have been there. What I day? No, I'm thinking I was it? channeling Gina when I was out there. So, all right, from now on, no, you're not invited anymore. No. I started out close. well, and I did warn them. I said, "Listen, my luck's going to run out. Like it's then, you know, it's not at me. So much. Yeah, yeah, it's not at me. And they, and then one guy, it was the, the groom to be, because I was joking. I'm like, why are you getting married again? <laughs> Oh, nice. That's where I start. Wow. That's where I start. That's another uh, podcast. Uh, uh, but yeah, anyway, that was fun. Okay. So, boy, how do we get there? What just happened? I don't know. We're we're talking about <laughs> therms, and and she went to the casino dealer, and that's yeah. uh, that's how you sell therms. So, so infinite energy. Those guys yeah. sold out. So they, they made did. Bank. So I forget when they sold it, but they yeah, the owner sold, and a lot of their team, really good guys there, and their marketing people, very smart, way smarter than me. Um, but those are the people that you you know. It's funny because you say if you don't have a marketing person, but you don't, if you have a VP of marketing, they have what, 500 things to do. So if you're in infinite energy, they should have had somebody at least to do the media side, do the media strategy. You don't have time for that. So take somebody like me and go, I know how to negotiate and I know how to get a better rate, et cetera, et cetera. It's like wholesale. So that's where I liked where I felt I was successful is helping you all save money. If you were so that's using a great your advertising. Mistake. I mean, that, I, that's the thing. I think a lot of times when you don't know an industry, this isn't something I'm familiar with. Yeah. You know, it's not what my, my upbringing or my training was in. When you hear a case study, you go, Oh, now it doesn't sound like mm -hmm. as much voodoo. Like, especially right now with the SEO and the PPC and the digital marketing, oh. I'm going to come in and I'm going to voodoo you, voodoo you, voodoo mm -hmm. you until you don't know who you do, 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 do. <laughs> You're like, whoa, man, get that voodoo back out of here. Chain, yeah. The chain's going on. Yeah. And all this time you just could have hired a Brazilian artist. Yeah. I know. And I, made made my, I could have made my little trusty toolbox. Yeah. 650 bucks, man. He not, was cute too. Not, not, not the artist, the therm. Okay. No. I don't, I never, I don't even think I remember even meeting the guy. It's funny. That's it's hilarious. all online. Fabio. Fabio. Probably. Fabio. Yeah. But, but in his, his, he probably normally in America, they probably would have charged you $10,000 for that. Huh. That's pretty cool. That's a great story. Do all need, right. Do you need more ginger ale? <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> I'm having too much fun, but I've got to transition. I can't. <laughs> I got it. Really? I've got like you finally Chris, coming out. I, it's finally, you know, it's Christina now. Thank yeah. you. No, let's go back. Don't cancel me. Let's go back. I'm talking yes. about. Let's Can you talk cancel about... something that's already been canceled? Does that mean um, uncancel? Double cancel. Can you, can, re -cancel. Does that mean you're you're back oh, in? You're back I, in. I, I think so. Isn't that like dodgeball when you get hit? Yes. And somebody catches the ball. Catches ball. Yep. There you go. See, th I think that's what we should do is bring back dodgeball to <laughs> settle all disputes. I like whipping. that idea. Oh, nothing. I was in a dodgeball league. Were you really? really? You remember those old there is heavy? A, there, are there really leaks? Mm -hmm. You remember oh, yeah. those old heavy red balls? Uh, the 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 red kick balls that um had like <laughs> the really thick that. membrane. And when yeah, they, you got hit with one of those things, well, bam! Are we really? talking membrane? I just I'm, like what? I'm talking balls now across the nose. Self is coming out. I'm yeah. talking. I mean, with a ball and it hits you right across the. Oh, that's. <laughs> is that what happened to you? How many times? No, no. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm telling you, I had, I, I definitely took a yeah, stinger be nicer. the back. Yeah, but, but that was dodgeball back in the day. Dodge, man. dive, was... duck. Yeah, dodge. Oh, dodge, yeah. dodge, you dodge a ball. <laughs> That's dodge very good. Ball. Thank you. All right, we got to... <laughs> let's get into this why. Segment here. brought to you by Blade. <laughs> Blade and bow. No. She can't even get the bow out. So uh, hang on, everybody. That is an awfully He's... nice bourbon to put ginger ale in. I just have to go. I'm sorry. Hey, I said I would sip it. She's sipping. You it. poured the ginger beer. I did not. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Oh, you're an enabler. Oh, I put the oh you're the enabler. Oh, my god. I was gosh. being a good host. I put it in front of her. All right. It's still there. It's, it's right. still, I can still take Back it. Back to why we brought Gene on this. So uh, everybody's learned a little bit about marketing. I think you've learned about and and what you're looking for in a marketing. Whoa. Uh, dodgeballs. Dodgeballs. <laughs> dodgeballs. <laughs> Let me get the wrenches. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Never gonna uh, air. On that note, it's, oh yeah, well, it's okay. Oh, it's going. I'm down. having a blast. This, it, this one may be our highest episode. <laughs> this be the Who wants to learn about leadership and exiting the business? Invited this girl when we could talk about <laughs> dodgeballs and blade and bow, and let's talk about <laughs> what Tina has done. So, Tina had a marketing uh, company, but then she sees an opportunity to start a recruiting company. Mm -hmm. And how did that come about? Was that just out of an ask, was that an opportunity? Was that something? Let me guess. Somebody of... came up to her and said, "Hey, I need you to start a recruiting company. I'm going to give you a lot of money to do it." We're close. Uh, you're a hair close. 
right? So I'm not an HR. I'll just say I'm not an HR. So our mutual friend, Megan that. Ritchie, okay? My yep. partner now of Qualified Applicants. If you're an HR, you have to so, fire yourself. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So COVID hits. And as everybody knows, you know, half of marketing was dropped. I mean, marketing is the first thing to go anyway, no matter what. Right. So, which is dumb. Going correct. Thank it's you. Dumb. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Cause I always said that. And, but so I lost probably half of my clients and dumb clients. The other, thank pulled you. The her, pulled the herd. <laughs> and the other half were in home services. So, and they were climbing. I know. Right. It's a, that's a golden, we're still golden dumb. client. We're still, we're, we're still probably <laughs> we're still a lot dumb. of the herd. Thanks for laughing. They were still dumb. Yes. Right. No, you. not too, even close. too dumb to leave. Is too, that what you're no. too dumb to see the gate and but, couldn't go to it. Is that gate open? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> All right. So COVID hits. Let's get back because this so, is an interesting story. And one of my, uh, well, partners now, business partner, but I was in a networking group and we were, we, that's where we met. And you know, we were just, every, I was talking to everybody. I don't know what everybody else did, but I was like, I have to make money. I, you know, I'm not, I did not marry a millionaire and I'm bored. You know, I cannot be not working. So um, there is no other alternative, but to keep going. And like, what's, what do I like to do? What do I like to do? So I was kind of going inward going, what do I enjoy the most? And it is problem solving. I love to help a business owner, period. I've always liked that. I like to just, that is, brings me joy and happiness to help people no matter what, but in business, definitely a business owner. So I knew that at my core. There's a gold nugget there uh, that I want to highlight because uh, as she was doing this, she said she did lead with, uh, I need more money, uh, which goes back to the lights. Well, to, to, to so keep the lights on. She stayed on brand. Money so helps. Like However, yes, she said, you. I realized I love solving problems and that gives me joy and happiness. And a lot of times joy and happiness, actually the money starts to follow it. I just assume that when she said, every time she says, I really want to help people, that means I really want a new Lexus. I think so. Yeah. But it, but if it helps me, what get My her? If she gets a new Lexus. <laughs> We're beyond Lexus now. <laughs> we, we 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 just went Maserati level. Wow, I was thought that would come. Have up. your rates gone up? I I thought yeah, you know what? My rates are going way up. My now. rates. <laughs> yeah, she, you know what? I'm locking in right now because right. I'm not buying the Maserati. I'll buy the keychain. <laughs> Floor right. pads. All right. No, those are. Do those. they even have those in there? I, I, I don't know. know. In a Maserati, I don't think you're they asking the wrong guy. Think, yeah, yeah we know. just established that I can't even get a Chevy back from the dealer. No, I'll get a Jeep. I'll just get a you get the paper floor mats in your loaner. Yeah, mm. thank you. But it's, it's not been out there for two months. Car. It's it, it, yeah, it's mm -hmm. been for a month, and they're saying mm -hmm. probably another month. What's taking mm -hmm. so long? The strike. Oh, the UAW strike. I can't get the uh, tranny part. Transmission part. That would be. Tra did you say? You did say that. <laughs> well, I did, but he, and he gave me that look, and I'm like, "Come on, dude. I mean, Who seriously, you can't say. You, you can't even say that. I mean, he, that's not even what I meant. For the love of God, I was, was broadcast. Yeah, emergency and broadcast signal. Right. Sigmund Freud would have something to say about this. But anyway, back to <laughs> Tina. Back to Tina. Hmm. Okay. I'm yes. Yeah, so helping people. Blushing. I'm yeah. really not, but okay. Yes. <laughs> I just want to make sure to cancel. All right. So recruiting, let's do that. I want yeah, to help so, joy, passion. So, you know, you figure nugget. you, you know, people come in your path that I feel, you know, you have crosswords, people come in your path. So Megan just said, you know, what do you, what have you thought about ever doing recruiting? And I said, I laughed so out loud and said, I am not a HR person. Nope. Don't even, would not even want to enjoy that. I don't even know what that means. Recruiting. I know. No, 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 no. She said, hold on a minute. Hold on one second. She, and she told me that with her, we, we are very parallel lives and careers. So she had her own marketing company for a long time and in home services too. So she organically started helping if she was the marketing department for reliable or whoever she was, you need people. So in that the home services space, you don't have an HR department usually, right? Or at least in office. So she said, well, I just started doing the resumes and started pre-screening and doing this for my bosses or what have you. But then she got on her own and then she started doing it also for her marketing clients. And I said, okay. She said, just let me send you my stuff and see what you think. Because she had clients still asking for help because she had went to a corporate space. So um she says, I want to help. They they need help and they keep coming to me. Nobody's here to fill that need. I said, all right. So we gave it a shot. Um, 
we just randomly found a mutual person we were still trying to get in in front of for marketing as a marketing client. And he gave us, he was our first guinea pig. As, for the recruiting. For recruiting. Yeah. And it took off three years ago now, over three years ago. Yeah. So uh, in this situation, what, what's hard, especially in home services, I mean, recruiting is hard everywhere all the time, finding good people. No matter what. I mean, that's the number one thing. In fact, everybody says it so much now, I would tell you guys it's noise. It's, you know, when people say, oh, my number one problem is people. Yeah. People. No shit, man. It it has been. And by the way, if you want to read an article in 1968, same thing. Same thing. Can't find people. Yeah. Nobody wants to get in the trades. Nobody wants to work in the home service. This is pretty soon. We're not going to have anybody who's working in any of the trades. Article 1968. So it's still happening. It's still going. But as we try to find people, it, it was hard. So I, at the time, and how I uh, had found Tina, is that I was pouring money into ZipRecruiter and Indeed. Mm -hmm. I was doing all the profiling and the screening myself. I tried another service to find people. They, I, I put them on retainer. I paid a ridiculous number and I got one guy. Now that one guy is still with me and he's my second best earner. He's great. So at the end of the day, that was great. But one guy over three months, that's mm -hmm. all they were able to bring to me because recruiting for these kind of people is really hard. To find them and to get them to come out of the out of the woodwork and you know, woodwork or underneath the rocks or I mean they're employees so they're all superstars but um but as we try to find our superstars I you like that I did so it's <laughs> I did <laughs> so it's hard to find them so I, we tried all these kind of things and then Tina said hey I think I can do this and uh, she came and she pitched me and another one of our friends uh, who has his own uh, business here in Atlanta. Uh, a big mm -hmm. size company. And he said, she says, Hey, this is the idea. This is what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. And she said, and here's my price point. And the price point was a 10th of this other guy who got me one guy. You're like, all right, I'll give it a shot. And that's, I think it really tickled the uh, idea for all of us was, you know, that's the right price point. Let's see what happens. You know, let's just see. And then sure enough, uh, it started to work. Now in my case, uh, uh, we'll talk about it. It didn't work for me because finding my handyman right after COVID mm -hmm. was really hard. Now, yeah, here I am in 23, three years later, I've got the best candidate uh, group. I've got the best staff I've ever had. So Tina, what I'm hearing out of this is you have a lot of room to raise rates. Uh, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I heard too. But but she's going to give everybody the Small Business <laughs> Safari podcast special, aka I'm a friend of Chris, because that's who everybody calls our company. Says. Enter promo code Christina. <laughs> Christina. <laughs> Christina. There it is. <laughs> we got it. Perfect. Christina. Christina. And you get a podcast code, you get a freebie. Wow. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. <laughs> All right, so back to recruiting. Thank you. Does Alan. you not have a 12 year old kid voice? Oh, yeah, yes. Uh, all right, back to recruiting. Yes, right. Alan. So, what makes <laughs> what makes your recruiting? How do, how do you, how are you able to find people in this space that we can't? Don't give up your secret sauce, but what do you do? Well, no, fact, I mean, it's not even secret sauce. And some it's people, me. and I'm going to just throw this out there. We, I was pitching, you know, I, I have gotten referrals and you are one of the best that has referred me. So I do appreciate that. Um, but one, I remember one prospect referral that I walked through the process and he said, oh, you, well, you just do what I've been doing. So no, I just thought you were different. And I, and I said, we do the same thing you're doing, right? That's throwing an ad on Indeed, throwing it in ZipRecruiter or in LinkedIn or what have you. However, we take a few steps back. We take the marketing approach of mind and our background in sales and all that stuff that actually should come in to writing the job posting a little bit better. You're actually very good at writing because you're a good writer. You're passionate about your business. You are pointing to Chris. Um, no, I'm pointing you? to Alan, actually. Okay, thank well, you. Yes, what? you, Alan. Alan, no, wait, I'm a great oh, writer. I was, I think I was just doing the audio. air quotes like this, you know, I'm like, you know, I didn't know if she was us. just using the word you as sort of like just a general vague. I was, person. thank okay. you, Alan. No, I, no. I don't want to give him that much credit. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> can you edit that out? Who, who do we say? Hey, sh who's your editor? Yeah. Oh no. It, bring it. <laughs> Every time I've said, Hey, edit this out. I go listen to it. I'm like, uh, I yeah, edit that it, out. Goes, edit it goes over the air. Hey, edit this out. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Speaking of <laughs> that's you, Michael. <laughs> All right. So okay, back so so, but I wanted to jump in. We there's nothing magic sauce there like that. I think it's people skills, it's speaking to them, 
it's really digging into who you are as a business owner and what you're needing. So we take a deeper dive into that culture. Um, and what is what differentiates you from Mr. Handyman and what you're needing, right? So you're doing the same thing, if you will. Sorry, I didn't say I didn't say it. We're Sorry. editing that one out, John. <laughs> But what actually, similar actually, to my guess? Oh, sorry. Franchisee who's listened to us. <laughs> oh well. But, but that, that's it, a huge competitive advantage you have with your extensive marketing background. Well, I I feel so, that's I do try to lead with that because we're doing the same. Our process is not different. So yeah, I'm trying, I try to get that out of the way with better lures. But we're speaking the language. We're we're we know how to communicate. You know, I feel we have good questions, whether it's 10, 15 minutes or 30, depending on the, 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 uh, position, but we're trying to vet them. We're not, I'm not, we're not headhunters. Okay. For sure. I don't want to somebody use that word yesterday. Oh, you're a headhunter. I'm like, mm, no, 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 no. I don't even like to use recruiting that much. Cause I feel that in, means I'm actively going for people. We're just using better bait, um, smarter questions, trying to slim it down for you, but really take that crap off your desk and bring you more qualified applicants. applicants. Welcome to the name of the show. Qualified <laughs> applicants. No, the name you? of the show should be okay about a half hour in we're going to finally get to what we're talking about. Yeah. After, after hey, it wasn't my fault. 16 drinks, but well, hey. Yeah, but come on. It's been pretty entertaining, right? <laughs> yeah, come right. on. All right. So, uh here's the here's the yeah, analogy I would say. The patient will minutes. eventually get there. Yeah. Can, yeah, let me ask you this. Can you can you provide this service? Is it just local or can you go national or international? We've, we have done I mean, all over. Continents. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> we just got a client in Japan. That was a little hard. Uh, that language barrier yeah. was a little hard. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that was a little. Okay. Nope. okay. <laughs> I almost said something. <laughs> yeah, you can't say that. Thank you. All right. She could. So, yeah, the analogy I would say is uh, Being professional. can you look on YouTube and uh, figure out how to change your own toilet? Yes. Uh, can you call a plumber and have them do it and they'll have it done in an hour and a half and it would take you probably three to four hours? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and will it leak after you're done and it will it not leak after they're done? Yes. Or if it leaks after they're done, can you call them back and to get it done? Yeah, yeah, right. So what I found with uh, Tina is, is she took that same approach. It's like, all right, what what is a candidate? Tell me what they're supposed to look like. Yeah. What, what are they supposed to say? Because I'm looking for these guys. You know, what area are we looking for? Do they have to have this set of skills? Do they have to have these tools. What what kind of what am I looking for? What are they going to say when I'm talking to them? And what you not want them to say. And then what do you? So do if not? you have specific questions. I want to know the best answer and the worst answer. So well, the guy's that's interesting. I, What's the worst answer? Yeah. Depend, well, <laughs> depends on the question. Right. So we're so. not going there. But uh, what what we we found <laughs> this last this last year is like I said the 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 guys that we've gotten in the last year because uh, for us uh, the economy has come down. Yeah. Uh, it's not as heated anymore, so these guys can't find their own work. They mm -hmm. need a company that they can be with where we can keep You're kind them of belittling the job that Tina's done for you. No. You know, because she was, because uh, we've been in and out doing this now for oh, three years. Yeah, three. Uh, because she was like, I just don't have any candidates. I don't have any candidates. And she, I'm finally like, hey, if they fog a freaking mirror, bring them in. I'll train them. I mean. Well, and that's funny because there's some of our clients have been that way. And if they're building a team, like sales team, like I just want to door knockers. I want, I could train them. I can teach them to sell. And then, then they would halfway through. Okay, no, we got it. We, we want more quality. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So it's, and that, those are things that we need. We need you to communicate with us too. So we had one that was, you know, perfection that we felt for a um, inside sales position. And Megan was interviewing them and she, the client said, um, we are going to decline on this person. And with no response, no, you know, explanation. <laughs> like what is going on? Right. So she, uh, finally he says, well, we looked on the, on so on a social media profile mm. and it was kind of not their cup of tea kind of too changey gotcha whoa easy well so send them my way i do changed. yes right uh -huh. so i said she's be perfect for chris no <laughs> <laughs> let's go baby um but no and we you know but we and that's always a fine line though because we we don't do that that's not because that could be a rabbit hole anyway um how many social media profiles are you know we can't do all that investigation and you know, so, but it, 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 that's important for you as a client to communicate with us because you have to tell us it's similar, like in marketing, we always bring it back to marketing. 
you you say, okay, we're redesigning a new website. Give me three examples, which ones you like. Okay. Yeah. I like this one, but why, what is it you like? So what is it you don't like is more important than what you liked. Yep. So we need to hear those. And you're, you're good about communicating that too. Pretty good. Yeah. I definitely can tell you what I don't like. Uh, I'm very good at that. Thank you. Alan. <laughs> Uh, and, yeah. and it's a that particular up. specialty of yours. Yes, right? I'm very, I'm and very feel, good and cutting. And I feel I don't know. In short, uh, uh, to my own horn, but I I hope there's those that are on the fence when I find for Chris, depending on the position. Well, I'll go. Oh, I feel that person's right there, but we're and worth you having at least a conversation. But do I send them to you or do I not? And it's very rare though. But that's I, a question I'm, you need to ask your client. Do you want me to send the ones? Correct. On yeah. So that's, and, and it does. does vary. So, and I'll go, but he's right there. But then he said this and, and maybe he was talking too much, but maybe he was nervous and you don't, that's another thing. You don't know if they're just nervous on the phone with me or what have you. But then I try to always one, I'll ask one question, but three different ways maybe. And that's always not like going back in the interview process. Like I'll go back to that and they'll say the completely different thing. They'll mm-hmm. answer it differently. I'm like, okay, that's a negative. Bye. So we won't. Yeah, no, it, this has been a a, a very powerful uh, partnership for us at the Trusted Toolbox. I highly recommend qualified applicants. Tina and Megan uh, will do a good job because what they bring is, is that the name of their business, by the way? Qualified applicants. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. I just was curious. Hey, it, wait, we're 45 minutes into the podcast. I found time he to start plugging it. How hey. I was a bipolar manic person to know what find my way. I even I even said right before the podcast as we were PPPing was like, all right, keep it short. <laughs> How do we do? All right. Come on. You stayed with us. This is awesome. You're going to keep listening. But here's why. <laughs> These two ladies have a background in Are there sales. Do you see marketing? people right now? I do right now because okay. we're on our third okay. plate and bow. What? <laughs> I thought they were both here. Are they not? Hey, hey, Megan, thanks again. She's been very quiet today. <laughs> All right. So full, full, full aside, well, I saw them last night. We were at a, yeah. a, a, a local networking event or a partner appreciation event. Mm. They were there. And Megan, I said, Megan, you're ditching us. She goes, no, I just knew that both of us there. We, I said, no, I already planned on you guys being here for three hours. <laughs> so I said, All right, we'll have you on later. Um, mm. so yeah, so, but they're great. And I'll tell you why they're good is that the background in sales mm-hmm. that Tina has, uh, Megan has a background in home services and also understands sales and marketing from a home services mm-hmm. perspective. Yep. And then they bring the recruiting aspect. And what she was talking about was you got to be able to draw these guys out. And because we are selling our business to these guys and anymore, it's not, you prove your way to me. I have to prove my business to you. if you want to come to me. And that's been uh, a very eye opening mm-hmm. for us because once we get them in the uh, in the office and we start talking to them, then we can figure out if they're a, a good fit for our culture and what we do. And and that's where we really you know start to bear down. And I don't do it; I uh, I let my team do it now. Oh, that, so yeah. they decide you know who they want and who they don't want. And that's been very powerful for us. And then have the quality of candidates that we've had. Have they ever uh, brought on somebody you you didn't like? They have never brought on anybody I didn't like. Now Your I team. have trumped them. And said, mm. bring this guy on. And they didn't like him. <laughs> and, and they proved me wrong. <laughs> they proved it that I should have never done that. So that's why I'm really backing off now. Because, again, as the greedy business owner, I want as many guys out there making things happen. But I don't want to also uh, sully our brand and kill our quality brand. So they did a code red on you. They did. <laughs> Actually, you know what they do is they uh, they ship them off the island and they don't even let me know. <laughs> I just see, I just see that they're off the, uh, the, the payroll, production report. You don't see oh, the, the production, the production report. I'm like, um, Hey, um, where did X go? Uh, uh, okay. Mm, yes. Uh, do you watch Yellowstone? Yeah. He, yeah. He went the to train, train station. station. Yeah. I'm going to tell those guys that one. They're going to watch it. Yeah. But, <laughs> no, this has been good. So qualified applicants, they can find you at. Get qualified applicants.com. Don't forget to get applicate. Yeah, it's get. Yeah. Sorry. Get qualified. Yeah. Tina, applicants. Tina at getqualifiedapplicants.com or Megan with an H. Megan with an H. Mm-hmm. Meg Han. Meg Han, right. as we call her. All right. <laughs> and uh, they're very, uh, those guys are also, we'll put all their deets out there about the uh, LinkedIn. You can find them out there and then. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, so they're very good there. They can work all over North America. And how else can we find you? <laughs> no, I was just going to add one thing that I, I feel as business owners, when you brought it to marketing, what can you... Or when should people call, right? You kind of answered it. When when should you call for help? If you spend hours 
or don't spend hours looking at resumes and you're needing people, we will take that off your plate. That That's time consuming. We want to weed them out for you. You shouldn't be doing that. You should be either talking to that next round. And so they're either the second or final round of a candidate or working with your current team and let your team handle it. So we take that piece that is that can be daunting. We just posted another position. They, we had, what, 72 resumes in within hours. How about that? 72 resumes. So just, she's, also help us, look at that? she's also helped us with our sales team. So my yeah. sales team today um, are some of the best we've ever had. Um, now we turned them over. It's a it's a tough yeah. business that we're in. I mean, they're very transient, but the quality of the guys we've had um, over the last year have been really solid. And we're coming up on year anniversaries for three of them right now. So I'm sure some of our listeners are kind of curious how the pay works. Is it a retainer kind of a situation or is it for placement and then they got to stick? Yes. You know. Thank you, Alan. Yeah, That's good. Welcome. Another good question. Was it? Heck off. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to give that a half point. <laughs> 1.5 right now. Sorry, uh, buddy. You're not the one scoring. Oh, shit. All right. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Answer the question. So we, we do retainers. We have a couple clients on retainers that need want to well building their team so it's either crew people it's usually a crew position they rotate or they're climbing up the crew um you know to a foreman type position or sales when they want to build their team and it's constant or they're harder to find so some especially in home services it can be depending on what you're doing it can be very very hard to find sales period right so we've had those um that stay but again our contracts or agreements aren't you know we try to say okay again 90 day 120 six months um no guarantees, but we will give you a little bit of wiggle room because we've had people that have found somebody and then what, two weeks in of our agreement, which can be four weeks at, at a time um, on a one-off, right? So we do the retainer and then, one, and then the one at a time, but then something happens. They may not show up on the third day or something happens. We, we, you've all been there running a business, you know, anything can happen. No, never happened to me. Ever, <laughs> ever, never, ever. You mean just like totally ghosted me? Had my oh, iPad in her hands? happens? What? No. Oh. You and can't like, find your truck? I, I told you I got in a car accident. Yeah, that was three weeks ago, bro. It's time to get back the iPad or uh, I'm filing a police report. Yeah. You use that. Oh, look, the iPad showed up then all of a sudden. Oh, wow. Mm. Didn't have to call in the police. Mm. Oh, okay. Then well, why don't you just bring the iPad? Okay. Mm-hmm. So- Back to, is it a retainer base? Yeah. So yes. if the, so the one off, so, or, so if they didn't do a retainer with us, so they just said, we need a technician. Okay. And we have a four week agreement. And if we don't find somebody, we extend a month to month if you want to. Um, but we found a perfect person two weeks in they're hired. What a day later, two day, whatever your process is. Then all of a sudden I get a knock on the door. Hello. Um, they, they ghosted us or whatever it might be. Our agreement is still within the four weeks or it, maybe it's just at that four week mark. We will, we will extend a little bit you because won't hang up. yes, we don't, we, we want to take care of you for sure. We don't just go, Oh, sorry. Four weeks is up just cause he ghosted you. The so we, contract says, yes. Yeah, yeah. We try to be very flexible with that. So as we should, I think, but there's no fees that, uh, you know, the percentage normal recruiting staffing firm, we don't do that. That big 25, 30% of a salary. But you all. but you also pass along the indeed and the zip recruiter. Any any uh yeah, per, yeah we cross. do. Thank yeah. you. Yes, yeah. we do because most of people have their own account, but we can get a discount too. But you don't need that account anymore. Just so let us handle for me, it. I, that's why I shut mine yeah. down and just went uh to those guys solely. Uh, nice. yeah. yeah, it was because I did. I started out doing it all myself. Yeah. Um, and then I I turned it over to a lady in my office and um, I got the results that you would expect. And then when I started using Tina, it was tough uh, with the handyman side, really good on the sales side. And then we got really good on handyman and really good in sales because mm-hmm. boom, it just, we had more, more fish in the pond. Really. This is a massive amount of time you saved within your organization. Oh, a ton of organization time, a ton of, I tell you a ton of my mental time, because mm-hmm. here's how it works. You look at the resume, you look at it, you look through it and you're like, okay, you know, I'm going to call the guy. Of course, they never answer. And if they do, <laughs> you know, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll go, oh, no, 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 I can't talk now. So then you text them. Yeah, I'll call you back. Mm-hmm. All right. And then they don't. And, and every once in a while you go, D- do you even know who I am? I mean, oh, I, you just ghosted mm-hmm. me. Ghost of Big Daddy. Uh-huh. You know, Big Daddy. Two gonna chains. Come, I'm going to, <laughs> Big Daddy, two chains is going to come out and take you out. Ooh, you know what? Christina's getting... coming out. Oh, 
<laughs> and you don't want that one. You want two chains. You want Big Daddy. You don't want Christina. Oh, mm. did I sound mean? Mad? I'm really sorry. bad. But it's so bad when they do that. You're like, and so mentally, you're like, man, dude, I run a really good business. Why are you doing this? Are, have mm-hmm. you lost your flipping mind? Just talk to me. And they can't. And so it really is a it's a mental play for me. And I, I could because you do have other things to do. You think, business. yeah, just right? One or two, a little bit, maybe. A little yeah. Bit. Even though I take a lot so of so you handle all that crap and mm-hmm. then just set it up to when Chris meets him in person. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah. I, I like to Actually, say the word crap now. because it can be. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because Chris is so. Yes, else. now he is. Yes, I work. I'm at well crap. You're in. Yeah. You're in Vegas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> correct. Or Lambo. Or Lambo. Uh, <laughs> messing with <laughs> Packers fans. I am. I mean, we've gone through a lot. Just this season. You know, honestly, uh, had the game happened now, I would say I'm, I feel bad for them. I would probably be consoling. <laughs> probably a lot of hugs would have happened. Um, two chains would have been hugging all the Packers ladies. Uh, yes. We're not all bad. They're not. Hey, baby. All right. So on that creepy ass note, <laughs> <laughs> let's finish this up. We got four questions. Mm. Are you Ooh. ready? What is a favorite book you would refer to all of our customers? I mean, I'm sorry, all of our listeners. On the podcast, I'm assuming a business or yeah, does think, that matter? So our our average listener, somebody thinking about starting a business mm-hmm. or maybe new in business. So I have well, a third one is coming, but my f- tools of the trade, um, or oh, tools of titans. Sorry, uh, tools Tim Ferriss. Yep, that's the Bible. It literally, is that thick? What and, is that about? Um, tools of titans. So it's stories of successful people and how they've overcome from. Business people to actors, athletes, everything. Oh, I like that. It's really Tim Ferry. I love him, um, and he has a couple other ones. I and he's one that you just go, you know, kind of skip through it. You know, get just a little pick nugget, the ones you a little like. nugget. Um, and similar to that was is uh, Damon John um, Power. Is it Power? No, Power Shift was the other one. Shoot, now I blanked down on his. Um, similar to that. Shoot, scratch that. Edit that. Anything with Damon John though. Let me just put that one. I know. I, right, I, think Damon John. I should have wrote that one. I'll uh, I'll put it in the show notes. So. Oh my god! All I'm right. Sorry, Damon. He's so he's just a. I love that guy. His he is, talk about a baller and two chains. But yeah, he is. But he is um just fantastic and yeah. his habits. But that's the third one that I just started was Atomic Habits. I know it's been out for a while, but yeah, I'm liking that one. Yep, that one's been good. I am listening to. I know I'm supposed to not do this, but I have to. I have been doing Audible on American Prometheus. Try that. Oh, I love do it. Do you like it? I do. Okay. Uh, because it's the Oppenheimer story, but it's the <gasps> book version. Oh, wow. And, uh, whoa. I mean, if I had to read this thing, I'd be stuck because they were using so many big words. <laughs> I mean, it was everything from nuclear physics. God, there's so many to, things we could say. Yeah. I, I mean, I know. And I need more pictures in my books, too. I mean, especially on Audible. And you're listening to how fast? 1.5. Yeah, okay. I, I'm rocking it. But it's uh, but it's really interesting hmm. because when it's going that fast, doesn't it just sort of take the, I don't know, the gravitas out of it? Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm driving usually in the truck, and instead of doing a podcast, I'm, 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 I'm in my loaner truck with the Chevy. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Oh boy, two on one. This is awesome. <laughs> and uh, but no, back to American. Gotta turn it really loud because those paper floor mats are making too much noise. No, they're yeah. real floor mats. <laughs> it's a Z seventy one, bro. It's tight, it's baby. Got lots of smoke coming out. The back. In fact, yeah. the the guard lady told me she, when I came through, she goes, "I like that truck on mm. you, Mister Chris." Really? That's, that's right, Miss Was me. it because of the word "loner" on the side? No, it says in the back. All right, but American <laughs> Prometheus. Here's what's wild about it is. This guy is a genius, right? And he got caught up in the politics of the day. And what was very interesting to me was back when you think about all this was happening, is that these these physicists and engineers were developing a bomb to kill people, but they had to compartmentalize this, that, that yeah. they were doing something mm. for the good of humanity, mm-hmm. even though they had to wrestle with the moral thing. And the whole thing that was going on at the same time was they were just coming out of the Depression into World War II. And a lot of these physicists uh, on ca- uh, campuses, guess what? They were liberal. Oh. Not in 1938. Commies. They were liberals, and they were commies. commies. So they were part of the Communist Party. Mm-hmm. That's what they said. Of yeah, course. And so they go on the witch hunt in 1954. So I'm just getting, to, I'm in 1949 right now. And it is amazing. Uh, the persecution of these people, even though they're the ones who developed the bombs into the war, mm. uh, that they're going after them saying, and they tap their wire, their phones, the whole thing. Anyway, 
Uh, it was. Did you see uh, the movie? I did. Yeah, it was good. It I made, liked the movie. It made science sexy, didn't it? It did. I know. Cool. Is it just because my teenage boy like loved it? it? No, I mean, I mean, that, well, that was for the emotion. <laughs> I'm telling you. What did you say? That's because of the naked people. I know. My yeah. my teenage boy saw it twice, and, and now I know why. Yeah, back to back. I really like <laughs> physics, mom. <laughs> Hey, you know what? If they would have done that when I was a kid, I would have done physics too. Uh, I did physics, and and and, and I did, and we and didn't have naked up. women, and it was definitely not sexy, my friends. If you saw my professors, there was not one word that ended with S and ended with Y with these guys because it was. I mean, literally, it was almost like Albert Einstein was teaching us. These guys were. I mean, their hair would be flying everywhere, chalk flying over the cross. Because remember, I grew up with chalkboards. Yeah, me same. Too. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, <laughs> chalkboards are sexy. All, all right, right. Question, next question. Yeah. Uh, so, what is the favorite feature of your home? The backyard and the pool. Backyard and the pool, nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. Uh, don't elaborate on that. We keep on rolling. Right? <laughs> I mean, I mean, if she wanted to elaborate, I... she said backyard and pool. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, you know what? You know why she likes her pool? Why in the backyard? Because she has cause... a tiki hut. Uh, bar back there. I do. Well, why didn't <laughs> you husband, mention that? Husband built it. Yeah, he's a handyman. He should be doing that. He should be doing more of that. We're hiring. You know, I have a great recruiter that might uh, be able to hook me up. I've been trying, man. <laughs> that's been able to close fun. the deal. Tiki bar. Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's a pretty cool looking one. I did. I went over. I uh. That was his prototype. Yeah. I said you should be selling that. Yeah. All right. Next question: What is a customer service pet peeve of yours when you're the customer? Whoa. <laughs> what isn't? Um <laughs> that might be the best answer. Yeah. <laughs> Just the I mean, when they are not when you can tell they hate their job. Yeah. Especially if it's on the phone, right? Which most are now if you have a problem and you're trying to get solved and they just go, Yeah. Yeah, what okay. Sorry, we can't help you. Like it's just mundane and the energy is not there. We need energy. Energy right? and customer service. When I was just talking with another uh, home services company, and the guy said, the problem I'm having with customers right now is that they go like on this uh, scale of I'm mad from one to 10. They go from three to 10, like immediately. They don't even give you any breath. It's to... because they're so used to people just sucking so bad. Right. Wait. Yeah. And I have to scream in order to get what I want. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, which is hard for companies like us uh, that try to do the right thing. I mean, I've got a review out there. I got to respond to. I'm trying to get it removed from Google. Oh, good luck with that. Our power glitched and our phone system went out. Oh. He goes right to Google and says, I was in the middle of telling them what I wanted. And they hung up on me. Oh, no. And you can't, pr- can you, how do you prove that? Check get this rid out. Of that, Google. Check this out. So the team, not, I wasn't even in the office. Yeah. An hour later, figured out the phone number, gave him a call back. Our estimator went out and gave him an estimate the day after. Mm. And he still has left that review just, up. Just put that response in. Everybody know the guy's an asshole. Yeah, I know. Well, I know. So you I'm responded going. though. Did you respond? I haven't to responded it yet because I wanted to make sure we had it nailed. Okay. First, gotcha. And we do. Yeah. Okay. So, so but isn't that clutch tires, Chris? I'm tired of you people like that. I'm I'll take care of it. That's what we do on the side is added value. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yes, that nice. is added value. <laughs> Sorry, Megan. I'm just All right. throwing hey, stuff out here. You know, people are gonna have to wait a long time in this podcast to get to the good stuff. Right. Slash and tires. Again. Not against it. Not against I know it. you weren't recording the whole half, so it's okay. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Last question. We're at to it, right? Yeah. Give the... us a DIY nightmare story. Oh, I'm boring on that. I saw that. All right. All right. Then well, we can just flush it. You know, it was that guy <laughs> that it. called you. Yeah, flush. I yeah, I don't because we didn't do you... <sighs> like my own like my husband doing one or me or a contractor yeah, yeah we don't, you know i'll give you i'll give you one since we're in our basement so I, I've got I, this I, beautiful I, opening over here and i i did that opening myself i put the lvl beams in out there and did the whole thing and i had a friend who was supposed to come over and help me get it there uh get him up in place uh because they were too heavy to do by yourself and he bailed on me and i went screw it i'm gonna do it myself so i get the lvl beams up there i did it all myself i stepped back down and i have forgotten <gasps> to take one of the two by sixes with the nails in it out oh. i put my nail right through my foot oh, my <laughs> love it <laughs> Blood. perfect oh, oh my right God. through it betty oh yeah yeah right between the the main uh right in the pad right in the pad of the toe oh yeah it was beautiful. That's talk about a nightmare yeah thank you i hung drywall though I did. Oh, okay. My husband is very handy, as I mentioned, the tiki bar. And we did, we didn't step on nails though, because he's smarter than that. Right. Thank you. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, but I'm good at hanging ceiling. We did our, our basement. I helped him do the, the So you had your hands ceiling. above mm-hmm. your head. Hold I did. That is tiring, hard. Right? That's a big. Yes. I mean, that, that's that why I give you all like a minute. props. Huh? It just gets tiring immediately. It, it does. does. Immediately. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And your, 10 your seconds. Your shoulders in. start burning. Uh-huh. And, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And they're not because away. they're the big, obviously, because there's a ceiling one. So you have to have the biggest one. I got some tricks. You like the biggest one. I like that. Bring it around. I like Bring it full comforts. Every once in a while, she goes, Just a second. second. All right. You did on it. that note. Oh, on that <laughs> note, everybody, if you hung in this long, well, you know what? Send me an email. Did it. And I owe you. I owe you something. I will owe, I will I will do something for you personally. If you hung in this long, you give me a, you give Jeez. me an email, Chris at the trusted toolbox.com, and I will give you a special. Hashtag you, to, you owe me one. Quali- you go, you use call and you just go qualified applicants. <laughs> hashtag Sucks. Christina. <laughs> Christina. All right. Get Sorry, qualified guys. applicants. Get better at what you're doing. Get out there. Make it happen. Make it a great day. We're out of here. Thanks, Tina. Thank you.